Hello everyone. I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. If you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more updates. Find the principal values of the following. If you observe all these three bits, first bit is in the form of cos inverse of x, second bit is in the form of cos inverse of minus x. Let's start this class. First bit, find the principal value of cos inverse of 1 by root 2. You observe this, this is of the form cos inverse x, cos inverse x. I want to do this problem by using this formula. Cos inverse of cos theta equals to theta. This formula holds good only when theta belongs to closed interval 0, pi. You observe this problem. It is of the form cos inverse x. I want to write this x in the form of cos theta so that I can use the formula cos inverse of cos theta. From trigonometry table, you know that 1 by root 2 can be written as cos pi by 4. And we can write 1 by root 2 as cos 7 pi by 4 also. We can get some more theta values here. Which one we need to choose? Pi by 4 means 45 degrees. 45 degrees is there in closed interval 0 comma pi. In between 0 and 180, pi by 4 is there? Yes, it is there. 7 pi by 4. 7 pi by 4. Pi by 4 is 45. 7 into 45 is 315 degrees. 315 degrees is there in between 0 and pi? No. So that's why we don't prefer cos 7 pi by 4. Now you come to the question cos inverse of 1 by root 2. We will write 1 by root 2 as cos pi by 4. Now you see this is of the form cos inverse of cos theta and this theta is in closed interval 0 comma pi. Yes. So cos inverse of cos pi by 4 value is what? Cos inverse of cos pi by 4 is pi by 4. Therefore, the principal value of cos inverse of 1 by root 2 is pi by 4. Now let's see the second bit. Principal value of cos inverse of minus 1 by 2. If you observe this second bit, it is of the form cos inverse of minus x. From inverse trigonometric functions chapter, we learned that cos inverse of minus x is pi minus cos inverse x. If you observe this question, second bit, cos inverse of minus x form. So I'll use cos inverse of minus x formula. This can be written as pi minus cos inverse of 1 by 2. That equal to pi minus. Now you observe this cos inverse of 1 by 2, it is of the form cos inverse x. So I want to write this x in the form of cos theta so that I can use cos inverse of cos theta formula. So from trigonometry table, you can write directly 1 by 2. 1 by 2 means cos 60 degrees. 60 degrees, that is pi by 3. Cos 5 pi by 3 value is also 1 by 2. Actually, I want to do this problem by using the formula cos inverse of cos theta equals to theta. You observe this, this pi by 3 is there in closed interval 0 comma pi. Yes, pi by 3, 60 degrees is there in closed interval 0 comma pi. You observe this 5 pi by 3, this 5 pi by 3 is there. 5 pi by 3 means pi by 3 is 60. 5 into 60 is 300 degrees. This is not in closed interval 0 comma pi. So which one we will choose? We will choose pi by 3. 60 degrees is there in closed interval 0 comma pi. So I will write here cos inverse of 1 by 2 can be written as cos 60 degrees. Cos pi by 3. That equal to pi minus. You observe this. This is of the form cos inverse of cos theta. What is the formula for cos inverse of cos theta? cos inverse of cos theta is theta. So this is pi by 3. Now what is pi minus pi by 3? Take LCM 3. What you will get? 3 pi minus pi. That is 2 pi by 3. So principal value of cos inverse of minus 1 by 2 is what? It is 2 pi by 3. What is third bit? Cos inverse of 2. Cos inverse of 2. We know that from the definition of inverse cosine function Cos inverse x defined only when x belongs to closed interval minus 1 comma 1. 2 is not in between minus 1 and plus 1. That means what we can write here? We can write that cos inverse of 2 is not defined. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video, please press like button below. Share this video with your friends. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.